Hello everyone, let's solve this question. Calculate the circulation of vector A that's given to us rho cos phi A rho cap plus Z sin phi A Z cap around the edge L of the wedge defined by rho's uh, limit is given from 0 to 2 and phi's limit is given from 0 to 60 degrees and Z is equal to 0. Okay, as shown in the figure. Okay, so what what do we have to take out we basically have to take out a dot dl okay and what's this dl dl is the wedge given in the picture over here okay so uh, these are cylindrical coordinates uh, that are given to us like rho a vector is given in totally in cylindrical coordinates and we have got rho's limit phi limit okay and um, z is zero okay so dl as we know in uh, cylindrical uh, coordinates we write d rho a rho cap all right plus rho d phi a phi cap plus d z a z cap okay so suppose i write a dot dl okay so uh, what does it i'll get rho cos phi a rho cap plus z sin phi a z cap dot d rho a rho cap plus rho d phi a phi cap plus d z a z cap okay so basically if you uh, multiply this uh, what is it you get this is uh, only terms uh, these uh, two will be left uh, that is <coughs> that is z sin phi d z okay this much you'll get and uh, as uh, we can see in the picture uh, and it's also given in the question that z is zero because everything is in uh, uh, x y plane so i'll just put z is equal to zero so now my a dot dl will become rho cos phi d phi okay so uh, basically uh, rho is varying okay only rho's variation i can check out in the picture and uh, that uh, that will do my work so uh, if i if you can see in this picture this over here there is variation in the x-axis from 0 to 2 okay and in this line in this particular line uh, this over here phi is 0 degrees okay as we all know that phi increases from uh, the, from z axis we started from uh, z axis so basically in this line phi is 60 degrees okay so if i say a row row varies from 0 to 2 in this line that is on the z x axis and row is also varying in this line that is at phi is equal to 60 degrees and over here in between this portion over here phi is varying but we don't need that because it's already cancelled okay because there's no a phi cap term in the a vector okay so uh, so suppose i write this one over here and suppose i write this two over here okay for one uh, for one if i have to do uh, if i have to take out a dot dl then i'll write rho cos phi d rho where rho varies from zero to two okay and over here phi is zero degrees okay so if i solve this uh, cos zero degrees that is one okay then rho d phi that will be rho square by two all right so uh, i'll get this this is four by two so this is two i got okay then next surface next line that is uh, second one over here uh, over here in this point rho is two and over here it is zero okay so from two to zero we are moving from two to zero okay same way we'll go over here a dot dl is equal to rho cos phi d rho and rho varies over here from two to zero okay and what is phi over here 60 degrees all right so uh, what should i write over here cos 60 degrees this is constant and uh, rho d rho so it will be rho square by 2 if you integrate it and this is from 2 to 0 what is cos 60 degrees half and over here this one i'll get minus 4 by 2 so this is 2 okay i got minus 1 okay so basically now all i need to do is add this 1 and 2 whatever i got so basically i got 2 and minus 1 
so my answer is 1 over here okay so this is a dot dl over here this is the final answer that i am getting that is 1 okay you guys also try this question okay thank you for this video